Okay, time to correct a bit of a bugger up that I made. Send it. Speed run? Yeah, fixing the um, group 4 when I fucked up. And then I'm going to do cat face after this. But this is officially speed run now because I've done all the stages officially because like, I just went back and did that one in time trial to fix it so I had the full stage count. So this one officially is speed run like trying to improve my time I think I can actually improve it because my my time on the, the reverse one's the one I missed and the time on the reverse one looks faster world records faster and I'm faster so hopefully I'll both beat the time that I set before and finish it but yeah Hopefully I just beat the time that I set before, that'd be nice. Hey Ian. Yeah, then I get on with some cat face runs. Nice. Gotta put a few runs in 
because I've, I've pretty much one shot all the previous cat faces this season like one or two runs just because I've been grinding out all the tracks but now I've got all the tracks done so we're good can just focus on can focus on getting some actual resets in and maybe at some point I'll uh, grind enough at something that it means that no reset runs are are a bit pointless but not at the minute I need to get into the habit of not reading messages in chat while I'm driving because I've cared so little for the last few months about the actual time I put down that reading messages while driving has been the easiest thing to do even if it means I crash now it's like, gotta focus gotta focus for just a few more corners Read this message if you want to hit a tree. I remember I joined Toucan's chat uh, a while ago. Uh, sent the message, don't text and drive. He immediately read the message and crashed <laughs> straight off the road. <laughs> oh, oh, hi Craven, don't text and drive. Oh, shit. <laughs> straight off the road. Couple hours practice. Oh, I've actually attempted fifth. Yeah, you can definitely podium this. I'm actually kind of hoping for a decent time on this because prior to in the last couple of rounds of cat face, I. Uh, I hadn't actually driven any Group A cars pretty much at all. And so, yeah, I was just driving. Now I've driven so many stages in the Kingpin that I actually understand the driving of Group A. And, like, I've, you know, I've driven it. And I understand how it handles. So hopefully I can now push it a little bit more. Because I know... Yeah. Did note something interesting. I went through all of the variations I can do on the script. Uh, that spits out your times from all of the tracks. Uh, Finland is slower than Indonesia in terms of like all of my track all of my times in Finland are slower than all of my times in Indonesia it's only about about 10 minutes across 11 hours uh, but the interesting thing is Finland is faster by six minutes in the dry only Indonesia faster by about 15 16 in the wet only which it's interesting, it's interesting. There is a slight advantage to Indonesia though. Indonesia does have a buff during the later... For one, Finland is where I'm learning the cars. But for two, Indonesia, uh, in all but Group B, I was picking my own car. Because I was doing one rally per car until I ran out of cars. And then I was picking my own car. But Indonesia, except for Group B where there's too many cars to do that and actually have any left over and I had to leave out the speed ban. Um, so Indonesia does have that advantage and also I'm shit at Finland. But I thought it was interesting that, that it's actually really close, especially since I will actually have had some decent runs on uh, Finland. Play Defrag. I will be playing Defrag tomorrow. Well, I'll be playing it tonight, but I won't be streaming it tonight. 
I will play Defrag tomorrow morning. I was playing Minecraft parkour and Cos came in and I actually said to him, how long do you think it will be till Al wakes up, comes here and says play Defrag? Well, you never showed up, so... I was too busy getting pissed off at uh, having to play Minecraft parkour online and people fucking triggering bridges to burn. Like, I, I honestly don't think I'm going to play that, that parkour map until it releases offline. Because it's just pointless. You've got like 10 idiots trying to jump at a really tricky section where if you touch any of the fire, the entire bridge burns down. So you're both fighting with an idiot who keeps triggering it on the first one, not realising you can't step in the fire. And you're fighting with other people who are at the same speed as you getting across it because they're in believe you f into your face. Australia sits kind of mid uh, around the same as Sardinia. Kenya's faster than Japan I think. That screenshot I sent you yesterday of the times should have everything in. Let me find it. I oh, know, Kenya's slightly slower than Japan. Germany the slowest by far. Australia is above Sardinia. Yeah. So it's, it's about 10 minutes faster than Sardinia. That's across every single one, but it's also... That, that's going to be some very rough, rough-ass numbers. Because there's going to be tracks that I've actually ground a little bit around there, and tracks that I haven't. Although comparing Sardinia to Australia is pretty good because I haven't actually played. I don't think Sardinia has come up in any of the cat face rallies that I've done. Or at least it's not come up in any of the ones that I've actually tried for. And I tended to skip it in group 2 so it won't have been mucked up by that. Group 3, I wouldn't have had Australia but I would have probably played Sardinia because I wasn't really resetting Group 3 because I was just trying to get my hand on the car. There is a tool... Ah, piss. There is a tool being made at the minute that's a more refined version of uh, just spitting out all the times and it's gonna allow you to uh, either spit out your time on a specific track in a specific car or a specific country so we'll be able to spit out like the total time it takes in group specifically for you rather than for anything else But there might be a plan to scrape the API for a leaderboards TXT file once a month. Get the world record. No, it doesn't log the times. Uh, it so you've got a file automatically in your game called leaderboards.txt, and it's got every time that you set. Um, it overwrites once you've done it, so you can go in there and you can find out what the first track you ever played in Group 2 is. Because that's the first thing after I finished every track, I went and beat my PB in the first track I ever played. Decided I wanted Top 1000 because I was just outside of it. Fucked it up massively, got 434th. <laughs> I was like, that's the first track I ever played. That's cool. So yeah, that's how I got the stats. Uh, Failex made a starting made a script and managed to do the bits that I had no idea how to do and then I just kind of iterated on it with him built it up and he's now making a really posh one like a as was hacked 
Uh, if you go into Steam and then your properties, I think. No. Felix, where is it? It's either in your Steam properties or it's in your app data one. And I can't remember. I think it might be that. App data one. Shit. But it's a super sick file. I now have a copy of it from exactly when I finished the challenge. So it's, that's there as I finish the challenge. No, I don't. I think it's not in the browse local files one. I think it's in your dot config local share unity 3d no dot config unity 3d on linux but that's app data isn't it it's on the fucking it's on the github it's there If you know how to use Python, then you can use our script. But if you don't know how to use Python, you probably can't. <laughs> we may at some point make it usable for everyone. I might use that arguments library that you had, Felix, to make an argument, a single argument, that is dash C will print it to console, dash F will print it to file, and by default it's just going to yeet it, uh, yeet up a TK into window. I might do that. TK into comes with Python, doesn't it? I don't have to... Otherwise I use something that comes with Python. I don't want to have to explain to people how to use the pip. I know, I've played this for over three years as well. Yeah, I use TK into... It's not a GUI app, for fuck's sake. It's literally just going to be because at least that won't close until they tell it to close. And it makes it platform agnostic rather than doing the bullshit if Windows add a bollocks wait time at the end until you press enter. The first stage that you ever did is the first stage in the file, literally the first line. It won't tell you the time that you set though, because if you beat your PB, then it goes in, finds that line and edits it, rather than um, rather than writing another one. But it will tell you which your first ever uh, thing was. Uh, if you went into time trial first off, it's more interesting if find the first does that say 60s on it because 60s is group 2 find the first pair of stages uh, so you literally got Nakamaru and you did it in the Esky well no your, per your personal best is set in the Esky actually that zero means the foot start counting at zero the last number after the colon, that's um, that's your the car you used. And it's got all of the weeklies and stuff in it as well, but you can't actually see any information about the weeklies other than the time you did. It's not really anything posh, but it's a really cool file. Really cool file, and basically anything that you see from me and Felix, mostly Felix, uh, mm. 
I can't read things. Also, I will not be paying attention. I guarantee you. So, the track that I missed as well, I've been watching far too many boat things on the internet. Because, uh, the track that I missed, I, I keep calling it Lusitania. Like, like the boat, the Lusitania. And the country as well. No Marku. So basically, it's just a Scottish person who's lost their cow. No, my crew. My crew is gone. I've lost my crew. No, my crew. Oh, no, my crew. Fish is on. I know when we were young. Fine, bunny well, and she'll be right. Might be the quarter Scottish in the fact that that wasn't just the accent, that was also actually talking Scots. <laughs> that, was, that was full dialect there. Be, be the Scottish grandparents. <laughs> hey, that's bad. Long time no see. Hey. Hey. Fine bonny weather is uh, well in good weather and I she be back. And she got Fit Lake, that's one of my favourites. Fit Lake. Hi, how are you? There's a book at my granddad's called uh, How Are You? I can't remember the name of it. But it's basically, Is the Queen Fit Like? Yeah, jo Georgie's have got a fit like. I'm doing good. I've seen you a couple of times streaming and just not dropped by before. That lass is well fit, like. Why? Eh? Why? Eh? That almost went down to. Um, that almost went down Southern Farmer. Why? Eh? You've got a brand new combo in every store, I have. How are you the lads? Felix probably just sat there going, What is this who is just speaking like? This I was about to go properly French at the end. This silly English says you not say any words. 
my angry French and angry German are basically the same. Which really helps in the in the end goal of it just to annoy people. <laughs> guy from the Alsace <laughs> region. <laughs> okay. It's a bit French, it's a bit German, and he lived in Switzerland for a bit. Just to confuse everything even more. Lives in French Belgium and speaks German and Bel uh, German Belgium and speaks French. I'm also still yet to find a uh, speedrunning time at all that does segmented runs like this, like staged segmented runs, better than a notepad, uh, not a notepad, a spreadsheet file. This is very good. Yeah. I've found Bavarians tend to have the best English of the Germans. I don't know what it is, but the Bavarian accent just goes well. Into, into it's it's definitely still German, but it avoids all of the stereotypes a bit more. Out of the two school trips I took away from home, one was Germany, one was France. In France, when we got lost, we asked somebody vaguely for directions in French, having used the piece of paper we effectively got given to uh, help us get back to where we started in French. The French stared at us blankly, and then if they did give instructions, gave them with their hands by their side, not in French, the Germans realised we were school kids who didn't actually know German and one of them spoke English and just told us and another one uh, in a separate time, we didn't get lost that often um, pointed, like realising that we weren't going to understand half the, the words pointed because, you know, practical folk Got a bit of sense about them, unlike all of the French people we met, who were like, like "You, why you don't you understand French?" Then goes this way, yeah. One of the biggest problems in France with getting directions was the fact that in school we're like Tournée à gauche? Tournée à droite? Turns out nobody pronounces it like that in a sentence because of course they don't. They don't pause before they say it to say, to like really well pronounce the word. I can't even remember what left and right are in German, but they're different, aren't they? Like, very, very blatantly, obviously different. To the point where you at least can't mix the two up, and as long as you can figure out what one of them is, you know what the other one is. Links and elect, yeah. Which is also good, because 
is quite close to left and right. Yeah. I really should learn another language, but choice paralysis and the obvious choice not being there because I already know it. It's kind of difficult to figure out what the fuck. And I keep getting dissuaded from learning Dutch, which is the only one that I really would want to learn. And it is apparently also impossible to learn Flemish, Belgian, slash Flanderan, because you would have to learn all of the dialects to make it useful. I should probably learn to read Dutch because then I could read Dutch newspapers and that would mean I could read Dutch cycling headlines. Don't need to read the French ones because uh, the French ones will get translated for you if they're any interesting because they'll only be interesting during the Tour de France because France actually care about cycling outside of the Tour. Belgium, Dutch, cycling all the time. And they write the, uh, like there's, there's newspapers in, in um, the Netherlands that are in Dutch and there's also ones that are in English and they both all cover cycling. But they write all the snotty remarks and all the interesting stuff in the Dutch ones. The English ones tend to be keep, uh, kept kept fairly clean and safe for safe for non non Dutch consumption. But all the snotty remarks about everyone else. Uh, you can choose it. Depend. Yeah, depends on the school. They pretty much always have the option of French or German, and that's about it. Some have Spanish, and then that, that'll that basically be it. If they don't have a choice, it's French. The justification for if you can't think of a language, choose French, has always been French is a more widely spoken language than German. And then there's always the stupid argument of like, oh, but Chinese is the most spoken language in the world. It's like, yeah, but it's only spoken in this one place. French is actually, yeah, then teach Spanish. This is where I was getting to. French is, yes, French is spoken in France and Switzerland and bits of Belgium. And you can go across to Canada, but there's very few people that only speak French in Canada. Uh... But yeah, Spanish is fantastic language. And if you want, um, like Spanish is, it's halfway to getting to Portuguese and stuff like that. And other fairly well-spoken languages that get you I hated the speaking exams. Speaking exams were the hardest. Because you barely do any actual speaking in class. The worst part was I had in my German mock, fortunately it was my mock and not my full actual one, in my German mock speaking I had an invigilator in, so I had uh, 
so my teacher had to throw me like hard balls and couldn't repeat it like I was, I was told before you cannot you're going to have an invigilator in I can't repeat the sentence even if you ask me in German I'm sorry could you repeat that which was what we were taught to do because you know it's, it's quite a good if, if you know if you know a language kind of half-assed kind of a bit crap it, it's usually good to know the words for I'm sorry I didn't understand you because I only speak a tiny bit of this language Entschuldigung, my ger <laughs> meine Deutsch ist scheiße. Repeat, please. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's the point. You kind of get. Does it matter if you get the correct dirty and das? No, someone's going to understand it. In the same way that your, your, and your people will take the piss out of you, but the only people who take the piss out of you for getting those wrong are people who can't speak a second language. So, you know. That did not go well. I can barely remember any German. I know how to count in German. Numbers. I sometimes just like randomly count in other languages. Mostly German because it's the only one I can remember. Past like four. Actually I can count to five in, in French but only because of this. Uh, three cats are having a race. One is called one, two, three. The other, a second one is called un, deux, trois. And the third one is called uh, Eins, zwei, drei. Uh, which cat wins? Eins, zwei, drei, because under two cat sank. And the English one tried to swim. The German one... That guy stayed dry. I can't remember the whole of that joke. There, there is a proper, proper setup for the Eins zwei drei cat winning specifically, but I probably should have gone with the two cat, the one two three versus under trois, because that one's easier. You can just say under trois cat sank. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Thank you very much. I do appreciate it a lot. I can't believe I did it how hard I went at the end. That's the hardest part, like how hardcore I went at the end of it. Doing it was nine nine and a half hours streaming yesterday. It's like fucking hell. But doing from when I said, oh, there's good, it's, uh, it's 30 days to go if I play two sets a day, which is about an hour and a half to two hours a day. And then I just went and hit it with like four on average or something daft. It's like, fuck. Yeah, terrible. It is a big, I should probably start uploading them. I've been procrastinating because I've got them uploaded to YouTube. I just haven't updated. Um, it's time to update the speedrun. I've got most of them uploaded to YouTube. They're not all there. 32, 32, 208. And for the first time 
in an actual speedrun setting rather than just a one-shot. Cheers, Turbo.